Oh, not creepy Gus. No, no, I've blocked his number. No, this is Farmer Palmer. I kid you not, I saved his beloved Collie and now he's obsessed with me. That's because you're too damn good at your job and too damn gorgeous. Mm, I love you. Could you two be any more sick inducing? Oh, says the loved up mother who's about to start a new life with her girlfriend. Hey, uh, well done on raising all that money yesterday. Yeah, Mum. We're so proud of you and Faye. I'm just glad you're both fully behind us. Can't wait for the postcards to hear about all your exploits. As long as it doesn't include you being stuck in a South American jail. Who? Me? <laughs> Our work calls. But we'll be planning the trip of a lifetime, eh? Hiya, it's Marion. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Busy packing. Go through. Hey. You've come with any more of your ridiculous theories. I've brought the money we raised yesterday. I thought you were going to do a bank transfer. Yeah, that's what I told Faye, but... Spit it out. The bank details she gave me... Well, they were for her own personal account, not the charity. Maybe it's more convenient because the bank is in Ecuador, or maybe it isn't so easy to transfer money internationally, I don't know. It's not easy, but doable. This is ridiculous. But Mary, every charity has a central bank account, trust me. They don't operate like this. Well, this one does. So then I get online and I search the register of every single charity I could find. I'm sorry, Susie, but as you can see, I am extremely busy. The shelter isn't on any register, Mary. Not in the UK or in Ecuador. Maybe it's something to do with the fire. They've been taken off all the databases. It's still up and running, well, supposedly. And that's the other thing. I searched online about the fire. And guess what? I couldn't turn up one single article. You're loving this, aren't you? I'm loving what? You think this whole thing is some kind of elaborate ruse that I'm being made a complete fool of, is that it? I don't know what to think, and I want nothing more than for everything to be kosher and for you to be jetting off with the woman you love. Yeah, sounds like it. Your own life's going down the toilet, so you set about ruining someone else's. <sighs> There's the two grand from yesterday. I tried to stop Gabby transferring the other two, but it was already in Faye's account. Look, Mary, I am not trying to hurt you. Just dig a little deeper, yeah? Keep your wits about you. Get out. Oh. Donuts. And why haven't you been answering your calls, lady? Oh, I've just been so busy. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, there's just so much to do, and I think the excitement of yesterday finally caught up with me. You're such a success, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. Absolutely. And the charity are going to be thrilled to bits with the money. Are you sure that you're OK? Why wouldn't I be? Mary, if there's something you're not telling me... No, no, of course not. Daft thing. Look. I've dug out my passport. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I forgot to mention, we need to put a deposit down on the flat. To secure it? 500 each, OK? I'll transfer the money. Today? I need to pay it today. Yes, OK, I'll do it today. Fab. Is that... Well, has, has Susie mentioned anything? How do you mean? Well, she was just so cagey about giving me the money yesterday. She insisted on transferring the money into the bank today instead of just handing it over there and then. I think she was just following the correct protocol. Yeah, but she hasn't even done that. The money's gone in for Gabby, but not from her. You don't think she's pulling a fast one? She brought the money round, Faye. Strange. Well, why didn't she transfer it? I think she felt uncomfortable about putting it straight into your own personal bank account. What on earth does she take me for? Why didn't you give her the charity's account? Just for ease, speed. I texted Susie last night to tell her that I would transfer the money once we were back in Ecuador. Is there a problem? I'm picking up my currency today. Why don't I take the cash and put it straight into the charity's account while I'm there? Simple. <laughs> There really is no need. There's no need to go to any bank. I've done this a million times before. Is that right? Uh, yes, it's my charity, remember? Why is there nothing online about it? 
Now you really do sound like you don't trust me. It's just that Susie said that she... Oh, Susie. I might have known. Mary, there's nothing online because it's a women's shelter. We have to protect the women's anonymity. Get it? Don't talk to me as if I'm stupid. Ah. You're getting cold feet about coming with me. So now you're making up stories because you haven't got the guts to be honest. Oh, I can be honest. I so wanted to come with you. Wanted. OK, fine. You play it safe in this shoddy little backwater instead of doing something decent with your life. Decent? Like you, you mean? I'm sorry, but what are you implying exactly? Be honest with me, Faye. There is no shelter, is there? We just did a fundraiser yesterday, remember? Or have you forgotten already? No, 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 no. don't do that. Don't you question my faculties, gaslighting me, making it sound like I'm being ridiculous. You are being ridiculous, and all because of something snooping Susie said. You've been about money for weeks, money for this, money for that. It's funny, but as soon as somebody else says it, it, it becomes so obvious. You're a grifter. You've over 50 grand in your bank account. <laughs> and look at you, petrified about losing a lousy ten. Losing, not donating to a worthy cause, then. You saw my bank account yesterday, didn't you? Your eyes must have lit up. Yeah, well, be thankful you only lost this much. I loved you. Thought you loved me. You seriously thought that you and me were a thing. <laughs> oh, I'm good. You couldn't even do your own workings out for yourself without getting Susie on board. <laughs> Who are you? Huh? And when were you going to offload me, exactly? At the airport, on the aeroplane, going to kick me out the door at 30,000 feet? Might have put you out of your misery. You have a nice, if somewhat dull, life, won't you? You give that money back or I'll call the police! <laughs> 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 <laughs>